What a wild ride. Five months after the cyclone called Sandy hit New York, they opened the other cyclone, the roller coaster at Coney Island. We have here something that shows the resilience of New York. Anybody who doubts that New York wouldn't come back bigger and better and stronger after Sandy, well, we've erased those doubts today with the great reopening of Coney Island and Luna Park. Democrat Chuck Schumer is New York's senior senator. While he was speaking, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers was gearing up to bring back the beach at Coney Island, a $48 million project paid with federal funding. Hurricane Sandy stole more than 1.5 million cubic yards of sand from this beach. We're, we're beginning a project that ultimately will replace 3.5 million cubic yards of sand. It's called beach nourishment. It is widely used all over the country in places where rising seas and subsiding land threaten beaches. It is an effective but temporary way to protect coastal property and preserve sunny days at the beach. Dan Fault is project manager with the Corps of Engineers New York District. We could basically fill two and a half Empire State Buildings with the amount of sand we're going to place in this five mile stretch. The scale is large, but the concept is simple. A dredging barge anchors near a good source of sand offshore and pumps it onto the beach. Bulldozers spread and smooth things out. This sand right now is being pumped from three miles away through pipes submerged underwater and basically pumped onto the beach. It picks it up off the, the bottom of the ocean and it's pumped in a slurry and bulldozers move it around and, and place it to the proper grade. Coney Island is where it all began. The first beach nourishment project ever happened here in the early 1920s. But will they be pumping sand on this beach 90 years from now? It is a matter of charting the high cost versus the benefits. The curves start going like this, where the costs go way up, the benefits start coming way down, but we do have 25, 30 years to make those decisions. Joe Vitri is the director of the Corps' National Planning Center of Expertise for Coastal and Storm Risk Management. You have to be able to adapt to this very changing uh, future scenario. Um, so bottom line for, for us is to think about it is it makes a lot of sense to put sand on the beach in the Rockaways right now. It makes a lot of sense to look at providing protection both on the bay and the ocean side right now. But I would not suggest to you that 30 years from now or 35 years from now that that might still make a lot of sense.